This is an instructional video for the LineView web demo, focusing on the status screen. It is best to have seen the summary navigation video first. This screen can be selected from the tab menu, which is visible once viewing a specific line. The status screen is used to drill down to understand where your losses occurred and whether the issues are ongoing or resolved. The trend here represents the time selected. We're currently on a four hour time period. Each line represents a machine and the color coding tells us the status at any point in time. The core colors being dark blue for bill back or full in front, light blue for lack or waiting, and red for stopped or not ready. We also have white, which indicates that this machine is affecting the overall line performance by stopping the critical machine, which on this line is the filler. This yellow means that the line was in planned downtime for the period, and this grey here means that on this particular pack format, this machine is not in use. We're also able to see the relative speeds of each machine, and by clicking on the left of the machine name, we can turn machine speeds on and off and the machine speeds are displayed in the trend at the bottom. The status trend also allows us to enter comments and actions directly. By clicking on any red or white block we can add some information. This also works on touch screens. The top left green triangle indicates a comment has been entered. To look or edit them, we can just click on the event. We can also look at the detail of other stops by clicking on them. On the right hand side we have pullouts to reveal other data including machine state totals, comments which include all comments in the selected time period and can be filtered by machine, and the SKUs run. We can select a different time period either using the time entry system or the cursors. The trend can be moved in either direction by either half of the width of the trend or the full width. This screen is like the DNA of the line and reveals a huge amount of information as to what happened and when. This is massively valuable to decide on where to act and improve. Our next step would be to drill into a specific machine or two by clicking on the machine lane on the left hand side here. Clearly our two target areas would be the filler and the labeler as these two machines have caused the most loss in the last four hour period.